Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassandra from the blog Craftably Ever After. Thank you so much for joining a very exciting episode today. As you all know, for the last month, um, we have had Christmas on the brain. Yes, it is finally time for the reveal of our All Fall for Christmas collab that I'm doing with my two very good friends, Caroline over at For the Love of Crochet and Julie over at Kay's Mom Crochets. And many of you guys have joined in on the fun. Now, what is this all about? If you've recently joined, we have started on the 1st of November, um, an All Fall for Christmas collab, where we make a crochet project based on one of, or even our very favorite Christmas movie. It can be any project, omegurumi, it can be a scarf, a hat, it can be a coaster, it can be what ever you wanted to make based on your favorite Christmas movie. So in our original video where we announced the collab, um, each one of us listed our top 10 favorite Christmas movies and we would be making a project inspired by one of those movies um, or our favorite one of the top 10. So are you guys ready for the reveal? I'm so excited. Um, I've been looking for this, forward to this day for weeks. And now when Julie and Caroline, Caroline and I started talking about this collab months ago, I had in my head a very specific pattern that I wanted to make. So I purchased it months ago. I was ready to get cracking. And then when the 1st of November hit, obviously with me changing my mind more rapidly than I would care to admit, I decided that project wasn't speaking to me anymore. And I decided on something completely different. Um, so I'm going to show you my project and I wonder if you guys will be able to guess uh, which movie my project is based on. All right, you guys, let's get going. So for the last couple of days, my project has been living in this adorable project bag. Um, I've been on a bit of a, a project bag uh, kick lately. Um, so I have been enjoying making a few bags here and there. This one I made for myself using, again, lovely fabric that I received as a gift. Adding a base made in a beautiful sparkly cork fabric. And my little project has been living inside here. Let me take it out. I hope you will be able to guess, friends. Here she is. Now, isn't she the most adorable little girl. Sorry, I don't know these headband flaps. Do not want to st stand upright. Here she is. So I will tell you a bit about the pattern now, but let me just walk you through this adorable girl. So she has these cute pants on. She's got her striped stockings on. Now you can't see it. Now you can't see it, but it is made with a sort of a Christmas red and a sparkly white yarn. The same sparkly yarn that I used for her wings. She's got a sparkly red dress with a little green frill. She has got a beautiful sparkly hair. Now this girl is Christmas extreme. She is, I don't know. She's upsized Christmas because she's all red, green, and sparkly, as I think Christmas <laughs> should be. Now, isn't she fantastic? I absolutely adored making her. This is a pattern by Crochet Confetti on Etsy. I will link the pattern down below. It's actually a Valentine's Angel, I think, pattern. Um... And if you haven't guessed, or maybe you haven't seen my list of top 10 movies, this girl has been inspired by my favorite Christmas movie. Uh, it's actually, I would probably say, two of my favorite Christmas movies, which is Love, Actually, and While You Were Sleeping. Two 
Christmassy romance movies. So I thought she was a fabulously <laughs> love and Christmas combined inspired Omi Gurumi. She just looks like she can spread some love. Now this entire doll was made with, of course, my favorite Rainbow Cotton 8.4 and all of the glitter yarns, which is her hair, her wings, the top part of her dress and the white part of her socks. All of that is Rainbow Cotton 8.4 glitter, which I got in a Christmas color pack a few months back. And then all the rest is just regular Rainbow Cotton 8.4. But I think she's absolutely fantastic. Now, the pattern did include, because it is a Valentine's angel, it did include a little heart. Uh, I didn't follow the heart pattern. I just sort of did my own thing because I wanted the heart to be slightly bigger than what they had in the pattern. But I think this girl turned out absolutely fantastic. She was so much fun to make. Um, it's not difficult, but it's very Fiddly. So there's a lot of pieces. It's a rag, uh, rag doll style doll. So it's got a short little body. Then you attach two legs. Um, sort of you, you don't close the body normally. Um, but you will see it if you ever did or do one of the crochet confetti patterns. It is a rag doll style doll. So she does have this <laughs> enormous head and a teeny tiny little body. I think she's fantastic. I absolutely loved making her. I couldn't have chosen a better project to represent Love Actually, which is my favorite movie. So she's a little Christmas love angel. <laughs> I don't know what you would call her. But is this not the most festive thing you have seen in a while? I mean, all the green, all the red, and all the sparkly. You cannot confuse her for anything other than being something Christmas. <laughs> I love it. This is so fantastic. I definitely want to make more of the patterns by Crochet Confetti. I think her dolls are absolutely stunning. So if you ever decide to make any one of the patterns, I will link the shop, the Etsy shop down below. She's got some gorgeous doll patterns. All right, you guys, I can't believe we are at the end of this fantastic collab that's been going on for a month. I can't believe the month is over. Um, any photos that I have received, I will pop in at the end of the video because there are some of you who joined in with us. There's some YouTubers have joined in. But any photos that I have received from anyone, uh, if it's in time, by the time I edit my video, I will most certainly pop it to in towards the end. Um, I will list whoever made the pattern and I will also list which movie they used as inspiration. You guys have been fantastic. It has been so much fun um, doing this with Julie and Caroline. As always, they are two fantastic ladies. I'm going to link their videos down below. Go have a look at the projects they made. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see their videos. Um, we've been chatting about it for ages. Uh, we have not given each other any hints as to what we will be making. So it will be a surprise for me as well to see what they came up with. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed this collab with us. Whoever of you joined in, thank you for all of your support throughout the month where we've been working on these patterns and that we've been sharing our excitement with you. It's always fun to talk to all of you. Let me just show you one more time. Fantastic Christmas angel of love. I don't know. I must find a name for her. But she is just too fantastic. I absolutely love her. So she will be sitting definitely, definitely on my Christmas display because she she's just so festive. I just feel jolly every time I see her. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic December. 
I think I will be taking a bit uh, a bit slower the next couple of weeks. So you might not see quite as many videos from me as you are used to. I try to post every week. It might be slightly less for December, but do not worry. I'm not going anywhere. I will be back very, very soon with some interesting and exciting things for 2023. All right, friends, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the collab. I hope you will be joining in with us in future collabs. I'm sure beginning of next year, first couple of months, we will definitely be thinking up another collab. And of course, as always, we would want you guys to join in. All right, friends, that's it for now. Stay safe. Stay crafty. Happy festive season. I will talk to you all again very, very soon.